Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda and today I am in the garden and I'm about to harvest some herbs, some onions, and probably some beets and hopefully some radishes. I'm gonna take a look at the radishes and see what they're looking like today and I'll harvest some of those, but I'm gonna only do as much as what I'm uh, ready to deal with today. So let's get started. Y'all, it has started thundering as soon as I got out here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let the chickens out, feed them. And then if I have time, I'm going to go ahead and do the harvesting. But what I'm going to be harvesting are onion tops, not the actual onions. So uh, I don't know if I said that, but yeah, it will be the onion tops that we will be getting. Because it's been where I came out to uh, work in those beds. And those beds are just uh, so tangled with the uh, tops. The tops are running everywhere and they're hanging out of the bed. So I just want to get some of those out so I'll be able to do things in that bed, like ring the onions, you know, if they need it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let these chickens out. And it, it, it's overcast again. So if it starts to rain, uh, we'll just finish when we finish. I'm going to go ahead and let them out. They are ready to eat breakfast. Hi, guys. Y'all ready to eat breakfast? Y'all not hungry? Y'all just want water? Okay, well, let's get the water. Okay, let me get them some water. They're not wanting anything to eat. They just want the water. Yeah, they were very thirsty. Look at them. And Hilda and Matilda are always going to be the ones that stand in the water bowl. And it has started to rain, so we'll continue later. Okay, so it has been raining hard for hours, but it has slacked up some. It's still raining, but it is not raining so hard. But this is one of the main reasons right here that I wanted to come out. And I need to do it now because it's going to be raining for a couple of days. Is That is what our forecast is saying. So what I want to do is I want to harvest some of my chamomile, some of this marshmallow, and some of this sage. I want to go ahead and start getting some of it dried because for one thing, as you can see, the chamomile is hanging almost to the ground. So I don't want the chamomile to uh, end up, you know, in the next few days with it continuing to rain like this, this chamomile is just going to get larger. And so I want to go ahead and get as much of it as I can. So I am going to... Just gather up me a nice bunch of it. And I'm going to cut it back pretty hard. And 
You see, this is a beautiful harvest right here. The flowers, you got your chamomile flowers. All this is gonna be wonderful to have dried. And this is the way I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna dry it hanging like this. And I was really enjoying looking at it. So beautiful with the flowers out here. But uh, I'm going to leave a few. I need this. So we're going to also harvest some of the marshmallow. I won't take as much of the marshmallow because it is not hanging to the ground or anything. I'm just gonna take not that much. And I will be coming back and getting some later as it continues to grow. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this sage. It has gotten huge. It smells so good. And y'all see, I did plant a pepper right here. So this will give my pepper some air and some room to grow. This is a super heavyweight pepper that I planted in here with these herbs. Okay, so that's a nice bunch of sage. You all, we have our first strawberry of the season right there. Give y'all a quick update on the corn. It is really growing. You can see the okra over in the background. It's only been a couple of days since I showed it to you. We have some beautiful flowers on the potatoes. Y'all, I really think my garden is turning into a food forest. I think we're gonna harvest some of this spinach. Cause I'm ready to plant some in this bed and I can see the spinach is going to seed. See right there? See if I can get my, my finger. Right there. That's the spinach. And it's going to seed. So let's get it and I'm gonna take it inside and freeze it, cook it. We'll do something with it. We're not letting it go to seed. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the portion that has gone to seed over here. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna let the chickens have that. But the rest of this, I don't want to hurt it. Hard. I am going to plant something else in this bed, but I'm still going to allow the spinach to grow. So I am just uh, cutting it as cut and come again. I'm leaving the roots in. And I'm going to put this in here with my herbs. And this is a weed. I think, y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I am having problems identifying weed. It's all beginning to look alike to me. And also, I hate to tell y'all this, but I might as well just come clean. I'm believing that a lot of things like echinacea, like echinacea to me, the foliage on it is very similar to some of these weeds. And I think that I have torn a lot of echinacea out and, and just threw it away, you know, you know, put it in the compost or just threw it away because a lot of times I don't know what it is, what kind of weed it is, I won't even put it in the compost. But um, I have threw echinacea away, I'm certain of it, and also ground cherry. Ground chairs are, are something I have a problem identifying. Once they're uh, coming back, and I have been pulling them up. So y'all let me know if y'all are the same way, if you're, you know that you have been, uh, you find out later on that, oh, that's what that was. Also, stevia is one that I am sure that I have thrown away, but I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna remove this, whatever it is. I'm getting this out because I don't want to put this in thinking that it's something. Yeah, what is this? Tell me what this is. This, this is some of the same looking stuff that I keep pulling out of the garden. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Y'all are not gonna believe this when I tell y'all. Okay, see, this is, I almost, I almost did it, I did not do it. But I have a label back here. I have two peppers planted back here. Well, this one is an eggplant. I had an eggplant and a pepper planted back here. So these were not, these were, these were weeds. But the other, the egg, I almost pulled up my pepper plant. So y'all be careful when you plant stuff, uh, you know, in beds with other stuff. And then you out, you know, trying to harvest your, get your groceries and you're not paying attention or trying to do it in a hurry because it's raining. Like right now, what I'm doing. But I really do want to go ahead and get this harvest because I don't want it to just go to seed and that is what is happening with it. Um, it's continuing to rain so many days and you're not getting a chance to come out and harvest and then you end up letting stuff go to seed. And so you don't want to do that. That is what you do not want to do. You don't, unless you're trying to uh, harvest your seeds now, it's okay. But if you're planning on using these groceries inside the house, then you need to go ahead and come out and harvest. So I'm, I'm making a pile for me and some for the chicken. 
and it has started to rain a little harder. I don't want my camera wet. I'm sure you can hear the rain. Y'all, I, I simply love just being outside. And if it were not for me having to get my camera, you know, get, possibly get my camera wet, I would stay out here. Because there is so much I can get done. It's not raining that hard. and um, But my camera is not going to be able to take it. I got I see some ants over here. And I'm about to plant something over here. And what I want to plant over here is something that I'm not going to have a lot of. And those are those noodle beans. I'm going to plant some noodle beans right here. And they, I don't need a whole lot. It's just to uh, add to some stir fry. I planted those one year before. I said I wasn't going to plant them again because for the space that it took up, I didn't get as good a, of a harvest as I wanted. And so I decided, I said I wasn't going to uh, use my space up on them. I said I, just, I, said I wasn't going to waste my space up on those noodle beans again. But I'm going to, I think, I don't know. I might put something else there instead of that noodle bean. I may do some Kentucky pole beans right there. And those are worth the, the, the space. I think that's what's going to go there. Kentucky pole beans right there. And also have some space in here that I could add some other uh, string beans. I got some tri-color string beans that I want to add right there. I'm going to put them in there with the spinach. Because you have to use your uh, space wisely, especially when you uh, you already realize that your your garden is becoming a jungle, not a jungle, a forest. <laughs> it's becoming a food forest, y'all. We're not having a jungle out here, hopefully, because a lot of this stuff is going to be coming out. I'm looking at a lot of things that will be coming out of the garden very soon. So uh, we will be having space. All, it will not be as cluttered as it is now. Just like with me removing these lettuces out. Because I do want to go ahead and get this lettuce right here. Let's take this piece right here. It will be for the chickens. But the rest of this is going inside of the house. And I got to make sure but I know that there, there are also some peppers planted in here. So I have to find out where my peppers are. Okay, yeah, okay. something has eaten on one pepper. It's a mystery pepper. And it is just eating up. And then I have a... See, I guess that was, I only had one pepper in this bed, so... That means I can go ahead and I can harvest everything else. I can just start this picture. Yeah, I just harvest fast. I don't, um, I don't take a lot of time on it. Let's see how much I got just that fast. You know, I dropped one. Let's put this over here. And I'm fixing to have to uh, shut the camera off. I, uh, it is raining. It's, it's raining a little harder right now. I'm going to shut it off for a moment. Okay, so I have harvested the spinach out of this bed, but I am so happy that I had this labeled, although something has been eating on my mystery pepper, and I still don't know what it is because it says mystery pepper, but at least I know that something was planted there because I had a label in there. So I am glad about that. And then over here in this other bed, I have my eggplant, and it looks just like the spinach plant. So if I had not had this label right here, I would have, I would have cut that. And then I have my super heavyweight pepper right here in this bed. So now I'm going to add some other things to this bed, some beans. Hey y'all, so I made it inside the house and the first thing I'm gonna do is to give my spinach a good wash. The 
while I'm watching my spinach several times, I start a pot of water boiling on the stove. Okay, then I go ahead and put my spinach leaves all into my pot. And I'm just gonna blanch it for a minute or two. And after my greens have blanched, I add them to a bowl of ice water and that's to get the cooking process to stop. Next, you wanna drain them and put them into your zipper bag and put them in the freezer. So I've washed my chamomile and I have put a zip tie on the chamomile. Sometimes I use rubber bands, but today I'm using a zip tie. And so it's been washed, but it is still wet. So I'm going to hang it up and let it dry until it is completely dry. And there are different ways that you can hang it. And this is just the way that I did it. I hung it on my uh, grow shelf and this is on the bottom shelf. A lot of times I hang it in my storage room. So I'm just doing this right now because this is more convenient for me because I wanna go back outside and plant those tricolor beans. And I put a um, one of the plastic containers underneath it just in case it drips water. While I'm in here, I'll let you all see what the lettuce is looking like that I'm growing inside the house. The Genovese and the purple basil has germinated. We planted that a few days ago. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and plant my tricolor beans. I changed my mind about where I was going to plant them. I was going to plant them in the spinach bed, but I am going to go ahead and plant them right here. And y'all know that this is originally supposed to be my herb bed. But you know, as I said, plans change. So this is what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put some beans in here because I got herbs growing everywhere and I need some beans. And I love these tricolor beans. The last um, time that I planted them, which I did not plant them last season, but the time, season four, I planted them and I did not have much luck with them. So I'm gonna see if they will do better this time. The last time I planted them, they were inside of the greenhouse. So this is what the beans are looking like. And so I'm going to just uh, put them over in this part of the bed. And I'm just gonna make a hole and I'm gonna drop them in the hole. I'm not gonna even space them out very far because I wanna be able to get as many in this space as I can. to give me a nice harvest. I needed a dibber to make these holes. So far I haven't seen any ants. I saw one, but I don't even have on my gloves. Yeah, it has been raining all day, but I have been doing different uh, things. I had things that I could do inside, so it, it, it has worked out. But I am going to enjoy these beans if they show up. First time I went, first time I had these beans, I went to dinner at a friend's house. And uh, my friend Pat, she fixed these uh, tricolor beans for me. And she had the, the yellow ones, the purple ones, and the green ones. And they were so delicious. And not only were they delicious, they were so beautiful on the plate. And so I am planting these beans, Pat, and hope that you are watching and letting you know that I remember that dinner. It was so wonderful. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have our area seal with the beans. And I have some compost on the ground here. I'm just gonna go back and, and put some over these areas. Hopefully I'm not picking up a handful of ants. So far, so good. Now I don't want to press my luck. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover these. And they are all covered. And hopefully, yeah, I have my label, so I'm going to go ahead and label that these are the tricolor beans I had bought out too because I was going to put them in the spinach bed but we don't need to do that now so I hope that you all have enjoyed the video today and that you will give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video and as always thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye